Good day, everyone. Welcome to Be Living Live. I'm Boys and Thomas, and we're joined by our familiar friend, Rory Friedman. Hi. Welcome back. Y'all remember Rory from our Skinny Bitch segment, author, and now, uh, you know, Getting your feet in the in the pool here on the other side of the interview table at G Living. It's fun over here. Yeah. I like this. We liked her so much we asked her to come back and participate in our next show. I'm very honored. Are you excited? I'm really excited, Good. especially because we have a foodie here and I love food and I love foodies. Yeah, we're talking to Sarma Melangalis. She's the proprietor of Pure Food and Wine, opened a couple years ago in Manhattan. She also has a website, oneluckyduck.com, where they offer a whole line of uh, you know, friendly products that kind of fit into the raw lifestyle and she also uh, has a book which you have in your lap raw food real world yeah and we're going to have her on the show and she's going to be joining us shortly so should we get started yeah let's bring well, her let's out. have her come out with sarma melangalis right here on g living's live welcome back to g living's live on boise Hi, Lori. and we're here with sarma melangalis sarma welcome to the program today Thanks. we're really yeah. glad to have you and uh, we'd like to start by those of you that don't know Sarma or haven't visited the site or gotten the book, take an opportunity just to introduce yourself to our viewers today, if you would. Sure. Um, I have a restaurant, Pure Food and Wine, in New York that opened in the summer of 2004 and uh, then came up with this book, Raw Food Real World. And uh, at, the, at about the same time last summer, launched OneLuckyDuck.com um, as a resource for all fun, cool things raw, including snacks. Um, right. And that line of snacks was launched um, at some point last couple of years ago. And we're always kind of working on that. And they're a little bit crushed. I brought them on the airplane. Yeah, that's all right. So they don't you normally know, look like they've been, we'll you know, bounced yeah. around through baggage claim. Yeah. We're just glad you got them on the plane, for crying out loud. Yeah. Um, <laughs> good. Well, welcome to Los Angeles. We've been here for a couple of days doing some other uh, yeah. press things and some junkets with some, some big food companies. So thanks for spreading your knowledge out there to the world. Cool. Very good to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you. And we're lucky to have you because you are so busy with the restaurant and the book and the website and... I don't know, how do you find time to do it all? Is it the raw raw food diet that gives you all the energy you need? It helps a lot. I don't know, I honestly, I don't know how I would do it otherwise, but it helps a lot. Is that why you went raw? What made you go raw to begin with? Um, it was very, it, you know, it was all sort of uh, very fortuitous, I guess, that it, a friend brought me and my partner at the time to a raw food restaurant, and I sort of knew about it a little bit, but hadn't really, you know, like a lot of people, I kind of, had this very vague awareness about it, but didn't really pay attention, didn't sort of stop to think about it really. Mm -hmm. And um, and also like a lot of people had very kind of low expectations and was a bit cynical about the whole thing going into it. Sure. And my mom was a chef and um, so I never ever thought I would be vegetarian, vegan, much less mm. raw. Um, and you know, was very surprised by it. Mm. I, you know, I too, I'm from, I'm from New York, but my dad owns a restaurant in New York. It's not a, pure food and wine, but it's a uh, good beer and subs. And uh, <laughs> if, if you're into that. And uh, I uh, know that one of my things I always tell people when they're like, hey, I'm thinking about opening a restaurant. I'm like, great, that's the, probably the best worst idea you'll ever have in your life. What was it for you that kind of drew you to being a restaurateur? I know you studied some culinary arts prior to. Yeah, um, I didn't start out in that. I started out, uh, I worked in investment banking and finance for a number of years and, um, and then left and went to the French Culinary Institute, which is not raw, not vegetarian, <laughs> you know, it's all about making stocks and all that traditional stuff. Right. Um, and then um, from there, um, with my former partner, got involved in the restaurant business a little bit. And, um, and then really, um, at this first sort of raw food experience, had uh, this conversation with the guy that we were with and this, um, this girl that was sitting at the next table, and she said, um, there was this moment where she said, you know, I wish somebody would open a cool raw food restaurant. And it was like as soon as she said that, you know, Aha. Kind of the light bulbs went off, and uh, and then tried, you know, tried going raw as an experiment myself. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, I've been to Pure Food and Wine in New York, and it is a cool restaurant. It's super chic. It's super elegant. It's really beautiful, and the presentation of the food—it's so not what you expect when you hear the words raw food restaurant or raw food. Although now I think you've set the bar so high that it's it's sort of becoming what people would expect. Yeah. What made you decide to do it in the, in the way that you did as far as a high-end restaurant? Not just cool, but also high-end and gourmet. Is that your background in the culinary 
arts? Um, I think so, yeah. And I think that kind of made a big difference is coming from, uh, you know, coming from a traditional culinary background and sort of coming at it as, you know, raw food was something new um, at the time in terms of my own experience. And, um, and you know, really wanting to do something that uh, hadn't really been done before. I mean, Roxanne was kind of the first person who sort of took it to that level. Yeah. Um, and I never made it out there. But, um, um, and really wanting to do it in an environment where um, people that are not vegetarian, vegan, raw can come and be regulars. And, you know, that's really been the case. I mean, most of the people that come to Pure Food and Wine, um, the very large majority, night after night after night, are not, you know, they're not even vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And they're still, you know, they're there because they're curious and they want to try it or they've heard about it. And we have a lot of regulars that come that, you know, kind of eat everything. And so I like that. I just really want to open it up and make it really appealing to the people that sort of otherwise wouldn't necessarily be drawn to it. I think that's great. And I think it's nice to sort of reach out to the people who do appreciate that kind of food, but also to get new people in because we don't want to just preach to the choir with the G life. We want to spread the G lifestyle around. And I think that's obviously what you were thinking when you came up with your book, Raw Food, Real World. And Good. why did you pick that title? <laughs> um, it really is about, um, you know, it's, it's about sort of taking raw food and bringing it kind of mainstream mm-hmm. and, you know, showing people and putting it out there that it can be part of, you know, a normal lifestyle and you don't have to, you know, become sort of part of this clan, you know, right. to, to do it and that it's doable, it's appealing, it's fun, it's kind of like the way to go. and. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with patchouli. There's nothing wrong with Birkenstocks. But look, right. she's a normal I babe. My, I shave my armpits. Yes, yeah. She's got fair, clean armpits. Clean armpits. And she's a raw foodie. It's, you can be both. And I think that's great. And, and you're living that and you're showing that. And the restaurant is such an example of that. Yeah. And I think something else that's really exciting now is you're making it easier for other people to get the food in their home. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't live in New York, like now we're, we're living here on the West Coast. Yep. But we still want all that good food. I have to say that it's killing me to not open these up well, and start eating them. That's not, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because why don't we uh, take a break and we'll come back and we'll, we'll crack open one of these for Rory here so the skinny bitch needs to eat too. Right? Gotta eat. A girl's gotta eat. God, so uh, we'll please. stick around, Sarma? Yeah, Great. absolutely. Great. And we'll come right back with Sarma Melangalis of Pure Food and Wine and OneLuckyDuck.com right after this. We have a problem. What's the problem? We have all this product, all this G product lying around the studio. We do. And we have nothing to do with it. Any, uh, you know, solution? I have an idea. What? I think we should give it away. And how? I think we should give it away. And how would we do that? Free. Free? Free. Free G, giving away free G. I think that people should go to gliving.tv, click on the form, and if they participate in our little G Living community, any questions, any answers, participate, you're entered into a drawing. What do you think about that? I think it sounds pretty good. Welcome back with uh, Rory and Sarma. I'm Boise, and you're watching G Living's Live. And part two of our time with you, let's look at some of your products. And we were snacking, but let's uh, open up some of these. You got something? We couldn't there? wait. We couldn't wait here. I'll give that one. So, what am I about to put in my mouth? That is a blonde macaroon. Mm-hmm. And we have granola and chili almond crunch bars and spicy macadamia nuts. And oh, man. We like macaroons. We got a lot of stuff. Okay, so my favorite topic is food, and I'll definitely talk about food for hours, but you also sell sort of houseware stuff on the website, your book. What else do you have on there? Um, We have a lot of different stuff. We have beauty products. We have our snacks. We have ingredients and kind of like food-based supplements, things like that. Cute little t-shirts and things with cute stuff on them. Um, We did see a cute t-shirt that we liked. Books, stuff like that. Sorry to interrupt. That was really cute. Everyone's going to probably want the t-shirts, and you should go to oneluckyduck.com to get the Mm t-shirts. It said, you want to do it with food in your mouth? Go ahead. (laughs) Well, you're going to muffle it out. Uh, You think I'm going to mess it up? Eat raw, live Live long. long. Isn't that great? And they're cute tees. They're not like boring, like big old oversized tees. I mean, look at little cute stylish Sarma. She yeah, has can cute you, stylish Can you shirts. show your, uh, your ink? Oh, yeah, yes. my ink. Yeah, she got some work there. You know, little ink. It's not very biker or any Harley or anything like that. No, you should see the place where I went to get it too. Yeah. It was some, you know, there was a lot of like skeletons and blood and kind of very gory stuff going on and big hardcore biker people. Yeah. And I was there by myself, like, you know, in a dress, like. Can you, do Can you put a duck on my arm? Yeah. Did you bring your duck products? Because let me tell you, 
Holy shit! I know you can curse on the internet and I'm so happy that I could say that because yeah. these are so good and you would never ever know that they're raw. Why so good? Why? Um, I, you know, I don't know. We just make good stuff. Yeah. My yeah. people back home, we do good stuff. We have so many new products too that we're, you know, we're working on. We have, we just, you know, I don't have the space to make them on a large scale yet. So yeah. mm. working on that in a big way. Yeah. So Can much stuff what? that like, I wish I could. Oh, these like amazing cinnamon swirl cookies. My, um, you know, the uh, lovely woman, Emily, who does my pastry. And she's just, you know, she's amazingly talented. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, you yeah. so much, Emily. We Shout out to Emily. It. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, I mean, I can't take credit anymore for a lot of this original stuff I did kind of before the restaurant opened. But, you know, now it's all her, it's all them. You yeah. know, my chef, Neil, he's amazing. Um, and they really, they come up with all the new stuff. And they're just good. You know, That's they got so great. time. They, they come up with it. And well, we have lots of fans yeah. of, of Neil and Emily and of your work, Sarma, and specifically on our forum, we had a lot of our viewers uh, know that you were coming on the show, and they asked some questions, so we'd like to get those questions answered cool. if we could. Cool, absolutely. Okay, good. So question number one from Natural Gal, she asks, can you suggest any homemade body product recipes to make from home out of using raw food, skin lotions, anything like that? Oh, good oh yeah. I mean, there's probably a lot of recipes and things that people can make, but um, my favorite is coconut butter, just the clean old tub of coconut butter, which we carry those on the website, but they're big tubs. and um, not only do I love that for just, I use it for, you know, I put it in my shakes and smoothies, but I also use it as lotion, makeup remover, I put it on my face at night a lot. Little and my cats, action. my cats, who are raw, I have two raw cats, they're amazing, they love it. They loiter around the shower and sure. wait wow. for me to put it on, and then they yeah. stand there and lick it off my shins. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, so That's good that stuff. and like papaya, papaya is good for your face. All just right, smear it on All like right, a mask. Nice. We also have a question from Candace, and she asks, is there a sequel to your book, A Raw Food Real World? Yes, there will be. There okay. will be. That's all yeah, we're going to say I'm about working that. on it, you know, yeah. in my spare time. Yeah. <laughs> <on> my <it>. spare <laughs> time. Give her on the plane when she's coming. not asleep. Uh, next, uh, next question comes from someone who is thinking about opening a raw restaurant. They want to know what one or two tips could you give them? Um, tips on opening a raw restaurant. Just, you know, be prepared to have it consume your whole life and, yeah. you know, make sure it's a good space. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah, and my tip would be, as the son of a restaurateur, either have your family on board or don't have a family and don't expect to have one. Exactly. Or your family <laughs> is the restaurant. Because yeah. right now, my family is the staff at the restaurant. Right. They are my family. Right. Little I Emily adore them. Little yeah. Neil. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they call me mom. Great. They do, and I'm, I'm actually not kidding about that. Great. So, and uh, another, another question, Rory, you had the same question. It's funny. I always like to know when I meet other foodies, like, what do you eat every day? So this one question from one of our uh, viewers wanted to know what is a typical raw food breakfast. But I want to know that, and what's a typical ideal day of raw food eating for you? Good. Um, typical, I mean, people ask that all the time. There, there kind of is no typical. I mean, and it depends on who you are and what you want to eat and how active you are and all of that. But for me, I like, you know, I like, I like to make my latest favorite, which is like sort of combination juice and shake. And I'm spoiled because I'm at the, I live across the street from the restaurant. Yeah, your I mean, kitchen's I kinda live pretty, at the restaurant, pretty but I stopped. sleep across the street from the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And so I can just run over and kind of make sort of a bit of green juice and then I combine it with a shake and I put, you know, like pineapple and some coconut water and mm. mango and then combine it with the green juice mm. and a bit of extra cilantro and mm. a little cinnamon and a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of agave and yeah. it's like a sweet kind of green juice combines both. Yeah. And wow. the cucumber. I Did forgot about that. that. Peeled yeah, cucumber in the blender the makes yeah. it like really filling and yeah. not so kind of like fruit caloric calorie yeah. dense kind of thing. And those of you with any skin problems or any wrinkles or trying to fight father time, cucumber. I mean, you just yeah. juice two so cucumbers just pour a day. The over oh, your head. yeah, oh, it just, I mean, yeah. you'll look 10 years younger. Just but that's like that. the thing about raw food. People <laughs> think, like, ugh, raw food. I mean, how good did that sound? Who wouldn't want to start their day every day like that? Yeah. I want to live across the street from Pure Food and Wine. We're moving in. Let's do cool. it. <gasps> hey, which in. leads us oh. to something. Yeah. You know, we actually are going to move in with Sarma, in that's a way. Right. You're kind of moving in with us. Sounds good. Yeah, so yeah. she's going to be I'm bringing excited. us. Uh, G Living, G Programming, right from New York. So why don't you tell the viewers like why you decided to come on board with G Living and what we can kind of expect in the future? Um, why, I, you know, I don't know. You guys are uh, doing some good stuff, and somebody said, hey, you should do this. And I was like, all right, cool. Sounds good. Sounds like fun. Um, yeah, and, you know, we do a lot of fun stuff at the restaurant. It's very, like, uh, you know, it's like a cuckoo reality show <laughs> over there every single day with what goes on there. So I, I think there's no shortage of kind of fun, interesting stuff that we can come up with. Um, yeah. So will we get some fly-on-the-wall moments from being, sort of watching you guys being cuckoo reality show in the restaurants? Will we see that? Um, yeah, absolutely. Fun. You definitely will. I don't fun. know. I'm not, I'm kind of, you know, I think if 
like people that read my blog. I'm definitely not afraid to. Uh, you and know, if you haven't read her blog on OneLuckyDuck.com, you got to check it out. It's re it's gr it's a great read. Yeah, I know. My yeah. dad was like, that's a little more information oh. than I wanted to know about you. So, um, Any plans, and I know you're a little bit busy, but any plans for opening a Pure Food and Wine in L.A. by any chance? Um, yeah, that comes up a lot. And, uh, you know, other locations and things we'll Great. be working on. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to make any commitments. Awesome. Well, right. you can stay tuned to the blog. Stay tuned to G Living. And you'll be able to stay tuned to Sarma and all the workings that are happening in your world. And the last question I had, I didn't get this answered yet. Why one lucky duck? Um, it, it all started with these photographs of ducks in the wall that I had in the restaurant, and so the ducks ended up on the menu. But more importantly, I really wanted something that, um, you know, people remember, and I wanted something that has um, some kid appeal, because mm. to me it's really important that mm. kids eat this way, and yeah. um, actually not that kids eat, you know, not that kids become raw foods, but that there are alternatives that kids can eat that they like, and they don't even know it's raw, they don't know it's you know, vegan, they don't know it's healthy, they don't know it's not processed, they just know it's like yummy snacks that yeah. mom gave me and, um, you know, there's a cute duck on it and so. Yeah. So Savvy. Great. Well, thanks Business for putting woman. that together. Great. Smart. Cool. Yeah. Sarma, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks. It was great to be here. Yeah. Awesome really to have fun. you. And thanks, Rory, for sitting in. We hope you'll come back and do I some more. I hope so. This right. is so fun. Good. And really thanks was. for doing your great. thing. Oh, good. do you want to shake yeah, on it? Sure. Good. Thanks, Sarma. Love. Pleasure to Thank meet you. you. And we'll see more of Sarma right here on G Living Live, as well as our new friend, Rory Freeman. For everyone here at G Living, I'm Boise Thomas, and you've been watching G Living's Live. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.